Hey, church family, it's hard to believe it's Friday already. The, the days are moving at warp speed. Uh, but the big news for the week that most of you have likely heard by now is that both Richmond City and Chesterfield County are moving to a fully virtual school session, at least through January 31st. And this has thrown hundreds, if not thousands, of families and children into chaos as they're going to have to try to figure out how kids are going to be educated while parents will have to go into work. And I want you to know that there will be an unprecedented number of, of domestic crises that are going to bloom in this, from special services that are provided through the schools being missing, including even meals being missed. Um, and I could go on and on. And so what that means is that there is going to be an opportunity for God's people to demonstrate a, a type of sacrificial love through this entire season and so we're going to be keeping our ears to the ground as people are beginning to strategize uh, ways to meet the needs that are going to inevitably arise and and be sure as we hear about these opportunities we're going to keep you posted uh, and we ask that you as well you keep us posted as you hear about things or as ideas come to you um, these closings have also how do I say it? They've given us a bit of clarity as well. Uh, we now know for certain that we will not be able to return to Holton Elementary in any capacity before January 31st. And let's be honest, most likely not even after that. So now we know the paths that are in front of us and we'll be prayerfully focusing all of our planning and, and strategery uh, around what it means for us as a church family, given that information. So on the one hand, we're thankful for the clarity. Uh, we, we know now what options we're actually working with, uh, but we're also grateful that the Lord has brought this building to us eight years ago at an auction. Um, so we've got it in front of us and be praying for wisdom. Uh, now, as we all head into our weekend, uh, I could think of no better way for us to do that than together thinking on the things that are true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, excellent, and worthy of praise. Doing that, realizing that you and I are going to need Jesus and his grace more this weekend than we even currently realize right now. So as we head into the weekend, let's feast on the goodness of the gospel and let's just collapse into Jesus long before we find ourselves desperately feeling like we need him. Jack Miller, one of my favorite pastors, calls this preemptive repentance. Let's head into the weekend together with minds and hearts full of the gospel, prepenting, so to speak, as we enjoy his grace together. I look forward to seeing you and worshiping with you on Sunday. For those of you that are going to gather here and for those of you that are going to join us online, I look forward to worshiping the Lord with you. Love you guys. We'll see you Sunday.